How we doing guys? Moose here, episode 18 for Western United Career Mode. Starting things off with a game back at home at the Bowling against Crystal Palace. Uh, so Crystal Palace, they're having a eh, middling year. They're sitting at 16th, just outside the relegation place. It's not fantastic from them. Uh, a team that realistically we should be beating as we currently sit in 6th in the table after our huge victory against Liverpool in the last episode. So we run out. Uh, our top string line of Valencia and Sacco back up top with Downing sitting in the hole behind them. Song, Kiate, and Noble making up the rest of midfield. Jenkins and Reed, Tompkins and Cresswell across the back line, and Adrian in goal coming up against the Crystal Palace side. That you know they have some players that can cause some problems. Obviously, Shamak of former West Ham Loney, Blassie out on the left is fantastic. Uh, Yednak, of course, in the center of the park. Campbell up front. Uh, can really cause some problems if we don't watch them correctly. But Creswell coming forward here, very nice run. It's an amazing run through. Eventually gets past Zeki Fries, plays the ball into Valencia, and his header goes just over the top of the bar. So a really good chance created early on by Creswell. But we do very well here. Jenkinson cuts out the pass, sees the run of Enter Valencia here off the back shoulder defender, picks him out with an unbelievable through ball, and Valencia does the rest, smashing it past Speroni into the top right hand corner of the net and that is a candidate for goal of the season Jenkinson does really really well uh, breaks up the play and then coming forward just unleashes a wonderful through ball just a stunner of a pass over the top to Valencia great touch by him bringing it down and then he does all the rest with a fantastic left footed strike into the top right hand corner so a great goal from Valencia and a huge way to give us a 1-0 lead at home against Crystal Palace. Fantastic goals. Valencia's 10th in the Premier League this season. So he's having a great return. It's a great way to start the game off. But Cresswell then bombing forward here again at the start of the second half. And has a shot from about 40 yards. And just goes over the top of the bar. So Cresswell really getting in, in the game early on. And our fullbacks really getting involved. Uh, but nice little bit of 1-2 by Crystal Palace. And coming the other way. And Balassi on the end of a through ball from punch and has a shot that Adrian take a look at the replay you'll see it from above should be saving this it's a very nice play Blassi does well to strike the ball towards the corner of the net but look at Adrian's foot basically gets stuck in the mud why doesn't he stick his leg out he should be saving that no problem but Crystal Palace do equalize uh, on the strength of the Blassi goal Sacco then plays the ball and looking for Aaron Valencia it's cleared away as far as Cresswell eventually back out to Chiate he takes a couple of touches makes a little bit of a mess of it has a strike and Spironi with a fantastic save uh, with a strong left hand to keep the ball out and then play the ball in on a corner here it's played back all the way to Cresswell he tries again from range and just over the top of the bar soon enough we will get a goal uh, from outside the area. I'll tell you what, we've been trying, trying another ball played in by Noble on the corner, whipped in. Zarate does well to get his head on it, but it's another fantastic save by the goalkeeper Speroni. We then try and get one final chance here in the 90th minute. Creswell coming forward on the left hand side, whips the ball in, looking for the head of Carroll, who's come on as the substitute, and it's a comfortable save for Speroni. You'd expect Carroll to be doing a little bit better. Uh, with his prowess in the air, but it's a good save, and so Balassi's equalizer cancels out Valencia's goal. A game that we probably did deserve the victory. The only shot that Crystal Palace did have on target was their equalizer, and Jenkinson wins man of the match. So, a good performance. You can see both of our fullbacks with 8 plus ratings, so fantastic from them. And we can note here our match has been rescheduled, meaning that our FA Cup uh, decision and the, the draws come back to us here. And we'll take a look after we see that McCallum, a guy who hasn't even played a game for us, wants a wage increase. That's not going to happen. If he wants to leave, he can leave. We're not going to have that. But take a look. Bottom left-hand corner, West Ham United will be taking on rivals Millwall uh, in the FA Cup quarterfinal. So that will be a fantastic, what a cracker of a match. We haven't played Millwall uh, since the uh, we were back in the championship in 2011-2012. Uh, uh, the season we came back, we also played Millwall because they were in the championship as they still are. So that'll be a huge, huge game for us um, in the quarterfinals. The FA Cup looking to get to Wembley with a victory. But we come up against Chelsea sitting in ninth. We still sit in sixth after that draw. Uh, but Chelsea are sitting in ninth. A little bit of a down year for them, which is surprising considering the team they've amassed. And we do come out in a very, very different line. Ravel Morrison sitting behind. Carroll, Kiate, and Song in the holding midfield positions, Downing and Jarvis out on the wings. As we basically play a 4-4-1-1 one, one, 
where 4-5-1 styling, but the two central midfielders, I have them as holding midfielders. So it's not a 4-3-1 because I do have the, the wide midfielders back back a little bit deeper uh, as opposed to Chelsea's 4-2-3-1 formation that they're coming out with. And it's a fantastic lineup. I'll tell you what, they have cost up. Of course, they brought in all the big guns uh, to try and come up with Nick a victory here away. But we start off really well. Uh, we st play across in Jarvis with a fantastic strike, but Courtois, as he is known to do, makes a fantastic save. The Belgian keeper able to keep us out. But Diego Costa tries to go on a run and do everything himself. He does really well to get around Aaron Cresswell, then gets inside of Winston Reed, has a shot, and Adrian makes the save before Reed is able to clear away any rebound. Jarvis then whipping the ball in here in the 26th minute from the corner. Eventually finds a way to Keate has a strike, and Courtois with another fantastic save down to his right hand side. The ball's whipped in. Looking for Keontae eventually for downing before Chelsea can clear away the mess. So some really, really good football here early on. Ping pong football, you might say, on that uh, chance there. Costa again trying to create some here. Plays a nice one too with Andre Sherlitz. Eventually found to Oscar into Costa, and his strike goes just wide of the goal. Thankfully for us, uh, the poacher Diego Costa is not able to pick the ball into the back of the net. Jarvis then trying to create on the left wing. Plays it into Aaron Cresswell. He lays the ball back to Alexander Song, sprays it out wide, switching the play to Jenkinson, back inside to Ravel Morrison, has a ping, and another good save from Courtois, I'll tell you what, we're going for those top corners, and Courtois just looks very, very comfortable every time, but Chelsea make a substitution that could decide the match, they bring on Fabregas and Hazard, those are probably their two main starting 11 players that didn't get a run out in this game, uh, instead for John Obi, Mikel, and I think it was Sherla who come off uh, for those two players, but I'll tell you what, Fabregas nearly made his play, pay early on, but a really good save by Adrian on the free kick. And then Alexander Song goes flying in with a leg on a nice ball crossed in. He's not able to get a touch to the ball uh, and give us that go-ahead goal. But Hazard trying to create some danger down the wing. Eventually lays the ball back to Felipe Luis, the former Atletico Madrid man. Uh, plays the ball inside to Ramirez. He's able to turn inside, lays the ball back for Willian. His header comes forward, and Adrian is comfortable in the end to keep things nil-nil, and we move forward here to the 89th minute, Aaron Cresswell bombing forward on the left-hand side after dispossessing Eden Hazard, turns the ball inside into Andy Carroll, he takes a bit of a poor touch, eventually finds the legs of Ravon Morrison, strikes the ball from 20 yards, and just inches wide again, he's unable to get the ball in the back of the net, but that would be all she wrote for, the, for this game, so another draw, a nil-niler this time, and it's really what we kind of set out to do, I'll tell you what. I did kind of set the team up to play more for a draw, knowing that Chelsea just thrashed us 4-0 in the last uh, meeting between the two of our clubs. And you can see they did hold possession because of the style we played, but we did have some good chances on the counter. And to be honest, we'll be happy with that 0-0 draw at this point. And man of the match, Adrian, man of the match in terms of outfield players, was Matthew Jarvis. So a good game from the club. Uh, and that'll be all she wrote for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Be sure, like I said, to leave feedback. I always enjoy it. Uh, and uh, subscribe if you want to keep seeing more episodes. We'll see you in episode 19, guys. Bye-bye.